Hi, uh, today is uh, Sunday, uh, J-A-N-U-A-R-Y 1-1-2-0-1-5. And um, I'm, <laughs> it's uh, back in full uh, force again, then it is there, then it, it's there, there, it bothers me, my head, now it is bad. Um, okay, once again, uh, nothing has really changed. It's just that uh, for whatever reason, the folate doesn't seem to be working. I, I made you a video on Thursday morning. I had no idea because I skipped the last cycle and I was really hopeful that maybe lowering the dose of my folate made a big difference, but it appears that it's it's still a major problem. Well, so major in fact that all my symptoms are back pretty much the way that they have been for the last seven years. Did I mention it's been seven years that this started in 2008 in January, February timeframe of 2008? And here I am still dealing with it. Um, I am so hopeful though, now that I'm here in South Florida, I'll be able to find a doctor that can help me. Um, okay, so Thursday after I made this video, we were out and about during the day and I had a couple times where I was feeling very strange and then um, we like to say the cheese came off my cracker. It's just a, a joke we make amongst ourselves because A, it makes it Laughter is the best medicine, and what can you do but laugh about this because it's so ridiculous. But, um, oh yeah, and I could be singing you this story because if I sing, I can talk just fine, but my voice is terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I can't talk, but I can sing. Also, also, I can say numbers. I can't say big numbers, like if it's a word, like 75, but I can say 75. I, I don't know, whatever. My brain, it's the defective lefty. And I am more and more convinced at this point that there is some kind of inflammation that's occurring in this two week cycle that's causing the problems that I'm having. I, I really, um, I woke up the other morning, this is of course day four of my problems, and I woke up the other morning and my, um, I just, I had a sharp pain um, right here on my neck behind my ear. And uh, I looked up an, an anatomy book and it's my vertebral artery. And I just, something is pinching it down here that's causing it not to send enough blood flow to my brain. Not enough permanent damage, because obviously when this is over, then I'm okay. I, I mean, you know, I don't think I'm as sharp as I used to be, but fortunately I started with a high IQ. <laughs> but I'm, I'm absolutely certain it's still in this area. And um, as much as I would love to believe the migraine theory, and I'm still going to go through with going to the headache clinic, I just, I cannot, I, it doesn't make sense to me because I can turn it on and off like that. I mean, even though we've got the defective lefty going on right now, check this out. Uh, I, I can't, can't talk, can't and no, no words, brain, the left brain, brain's uh, dead. Then a touch on, uh, uh, okay, in the back of your neck, there's like the little divot part on either side of the back of your neck. And if I press on the left side, uh, there's a specific area right there. It's almost like it relieves the pressure of whatever is blocking this. Then. All of a sudden I can talk so check this out uh, I'm having uh, pro problems uh, ta talking right there it just changes completely I mean it's like my, my vision gets brighter um, 
my, it, it's just, it, I can't even tell you. It, it just, it's like night and day difference the way that it feels to me. Now, of course, anybody who's watching this video right now is thinking, well, why doesn't she get imaging there? There must be a tumor or something that's causing this. I have had every kind of imaging you can imagine. CAT scans, MRIs, MRAs, uh, transcranial Doppler, um, EEGs. E I haven't had an EKG. I'm just, I, I am, I am frustrated beyond belief. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it started in 2008. So this is seven years and I feel so lucky and fortunate that I had a reprieve for, you know, what the, well, almost this whole past 2014 um, until August, things were good. And then it, it just gradually came on until December. It was problematic again. So I had the better part of a year gap. Still don't know why, still can't explain it but I cannot allow this to take over my life again every two weeks. I mean, I may not have a choice, but I don't want it to. So if you're watching this video and you have uh, any compassion or uh, medical knowledge or um, an idea, any suggestion, um, I could just feel my vision getting just grayer and just, I'm, it just, God, it's like I'm having a freaking stroke every two weeks. How can it not be obvious what's going on? <sighs> okay. Also, you know, I read that book, My Stroke of Insight, and the woman talks a lot about patience and sleep and all this stuff. I also want to throw out a couple things. The singing covering the eye because then it switches the hemispheres of my brain which don't seem to sink and there was this wonderful doctor that I um, met up in Bellingham, Washington who works with uh, people who have eye disorders.